Hello folks, it's time for credible information on the RAM and storage configurations that Samsung will offer with its upcoming high-end smartphones. According to tipster Ahmed Kwaida, Samsung will offer the Galaxy S23 and the Galaxy S23 Plus in two memory configurations, 8 plus 256GB and 8 plus 512GB. The most commonly available version will be the one with 8GB RAM and 256GB storage. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is claimed to be available in four configurations. 8 plus 256 gigabytes, 12 plus 256 gigabytes, 12 plus 512 gigabytes, and 12 plus 1 terabyte storage. The most widely sold variant of the Galaxy S23 Ultra will be the one with 12 gigabytes RAM and 256 gigabytes storage. As you can see, Samsung is still not completely upgrading the base storage space with the Galaxy S23 series. The 128 gigabytes versions of the Galaxy S23 and the Galaxy S23 Plus will reportedly be available in very few countries. Most countries will start at 256GB base storage space. This information has been termed credible by legendary tipster Ice Universe. Samsung is upgrading the RAM and storage speeds with the Galaxy S23 series. The devices will feature LPDDR5X RAM, which is 50% faster than LPDDR5 RAM used in the Galaxy S22. The South Korean firm is also upgrading storage speeds with its upcoming phones. The Galaxy S23 series will feature UFS 4.0 storage, which is capable of 4000 1200 megabits per second sequential read speeds and up to 2800 megabits per second sequential write speeds. That's 2x compared to UFS 3.1 storage's 2100 and 1200 megabits per second sequential read and write speeds. Also, we've got new information about colors for the S23 lineup. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is already expected to arrive in black, cream, green, and lavender. However, it appears there will be four new colors for buyers to choose from, although they will be offered in lower volume compared to the main colors listed above. The official marketing names for the main colors are allegedly Cotton Flower, Misty Lilac, Botanic Green and Phantom Black. Display specialist Ross Young has revealed the other four Galaxy S23 Ultra colors – Grey, Light Blue, Light Green and Red. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra in some or all of its white shirts of colors will be officially launched at the unpacked event, which has also been recently leaked. An Estonian retailer is offering a set of Galaxy Buds 2 Pro Airbus for those early pre-ordering customers who go on to actually purchase a qualifying smartphone, which is presumably any model from the Galaxy S23 series. It's not clear if this is the retailer's own initiative or Samsung's, but the promotional materials does suggest it might be from the manufacturer. It has been rumored that Samsung's smartphone division is developing its flagship mobile chip catered towards the Galaxy S lineup. It was reported that the company might not use a Exynos chips in its high-end smartphones anymore. A new rumor claims we could learn more about the company's upcoming high-end processor soon. According to tipster Ice Universe, Samsung MX mobile division will reveal more details about its first in-house mobile chipset during the launch of the Galaxy S23 series. Samsung MX CEO TM Raw could give fans a teaser about the high-end smartphone on February 1st, 2023. The chipset is set to be developed for the Galaxy S25 series that will be launched in early 2020. At this stage, it isn't clear what Samsung has in mind as far as this dedicated Galaxy chip is concerned. It could decide to design the chip to run certain features for future Galaxy handsets similar to the AI capabilities for the Pixel 6 and Pixel 7 lines that are built into the Google Tensor chips. Or Samsung might just want to try and catch up with Apple's A-series chipsets that it designs and has produced for the iPhone by TSMC. Certainly, Samsung does have an advantage here in that it owns its own foundry, which is one of only two in the world capable of producing cutting-edge 3 nanometers chip. TSMC is the other, and Apple makes up 25% of the Taiwan-based foundry's business. The point is that with its own foundry in its back pocket, there is no reason why Samsung can't design a better chip than the Exynos AP that it had been making and produced it itself. Samsung is taking its time, and the early reports say that this chip won't be ready for use until 2025. This gives the company plenty of time to design something that Samsung hopes will take the Galaxy line to another other level. We hope to hear more about the specs of the chip and we would like Samsung to reveal the capabilities it is looking to add to Galaxy smartphones when it debuts this chip on the Galaxy S25 series in 2025. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.